so hard riding with the mask on you can't like <laughs> you're supposed to breathe right that's one thing you can't do with this mask uh, but the ride has been pretty good until now currently we're on this bell road the famous bell road people in the north uh, i mean north bangalore know about it not the bell puri kind of thing it's a uh, bharat electronic limited so it is a totally different thing and we are here along with tanush meeting up Hello, the star. <laughs> we don't always appreciate the present more often than we like to believe. The best days of our lives are somehow always ahead or behind us. I mean, it's common to think our school and college days were the golden days. But if you really look back, it really isn't. We all will be truly happy unless we start living in the present and appreciating what we have at hand. When it comes to traveling, it is the same. We always think it has to be somewhere else other than your place for it to be beautiful, pleasant or to give you a higher experience. When is the last time that you really set out to see your own city? Like not commuting, we all do that, but really see and experience things that is only unique to your place. I'm sure whichever place you live in it has something unique that would have been overlooked big time by everyone. Now, while I tell all this, it is mostly for me to hear and internalize it because even though I have been living my whole life in Bangalore, I have not really seen anything. So, instead of planning to travel somewhere else, me and my friends decided to check out a rather famous part of Bangalore, Maleshwaram. So this place is probably famous. Uh, so there are other uh, food bloggers as well. So they are trying the thing out. Uh, obviously, we don't have that kind of a gear, so they have noise cancellation cameras, mics, mics and all that. <laughs> so this is what we're eating now. So, we came here to the famous Sankey Tank. Probably chose the right Sunday because <laughs> there are a lot less people today thinking that it's gonna rain. Uh, after that short breakfast, so this is the first place that we came to. It's pretty peaceful. Like my, like we were talking, uh, there is always water in Sankey Tank somehow. <laughs> So our reasoning is that it always rains in Bangalore. So at least this is one place that is green and has water in the middle of this concrete jungle. Sanki tank, we have no idea where we are going. We are just searching for another breakfast place. <laughs> so, as you can see, all the shops are closed because it is Sunday. So, so there is no point in opening shops if people stay at home. So, But, we are hopeful that we are going to find something to eat. So started to drizzle a bit and we came to this place called Hotel Janata. So uh, the vibe of this place is really amazing. It is kind of nostalgic. Not that I have lived through that era to feel nostalgic about anything. But then, uh, uh, you know, it gives you this feeling of some, you're somewhere outside city limits and 
definitely you know not a place that you would find in malaysia that is what gives this place that essence i guess So after having breakfast, we stopped near this Holige Mane. Why? Why did we stop near Holige Mane? <laughs> so I wanted to try this Kova Holige uh, very much because the last time I had was in my college days. I missed that place. And Manon was saying he wanted some sweet after the breakfast. So better come here. Dushant was excited about uh, jackfruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so seems like it's gonna rape <laughs> the holy game. <laughs> no, he was excited about uh, jackfruit holiday, so I want to try chocolate holiday. Does not make me any bit unique, but then I'm a sucker for chocolate, so let's see. This is chocolate. chocolate. This is the classic. This is koa and then this is jackfruit. So this is the special one. This is reasonably special, but uh, this is a common one, right? This is a very common but classic. Jackfruit, 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 and that's the one. No, no, no. You know what the best thing about riding a bicycle in Bangalore? There is no bike rules at all. I probably am not aware of the rules, but there are definitely no bike lanes or anything like that. So we are currently riding uh, in the wrong direction but then we are on a bicycle so ain't nobody gonna ask us let's take so now we are planning to go to the mantri mall not exactly to the mall but there's this park in front of the mantri mall so we are gonna sit there chill probably go to new krishna bhavan which is right in front of the park so there is the mantri mall and that is the park that we want to go to and there is new krishna bhavan So after cycling all day through the streets of Maleshwaram experiencing things that I did not expect I would and trying out some amazing food it was finally time for me to call it a day if not anything what I would take away from today is the fact that simple things give you the most happiness I will definitely do more of such short ventures and I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it if you like the video let the button below the video know that you do please subscribe if you haven't already and look out for more adventures until next time bye